Good morning. Good morning to me. Oh, no, don't come here. Uh, I got nothing for you. Go. I mean. No, you're ridiculous. I'm they aunt. No, I'm they aunt. Girl, what is going on in here? Oh, he's just staring at me. <laughs> Leave her alone. Ignore her. I love you. Bye, Maddie. Get out. I said get out. I said get out. I, <laughs> I love you. 6.41 a.m. Yeah. We're broadcasting live. These are grind hours. This is what they don't see. They oh, see God. the shine. But they don't see the grind. Please help. Y'all are literally seeing the grind. Yeah. Morning, guys. I am done working with my sister. That means another type of work has to begin. It is time for me to exercise. I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do today. I'm thinking less mil shabam because that's the easiest thing to get me to do is dance. When I when I'm not motivated to do anything else, I can always be motivated to dance. So that's what I'm going to do. But before I do that. I gotta do this, okay? Let's zip this shake. Today we are having, bam, ooh, pink lemonade. I think I had pink lemonade yesterday, and you know what? I'm okay with that. Pink lemonade is a classic, and I will never turn it down. Ooh, easy peasy, pink lemonade squeezy. You know what I'm talking about? I killed that. Oh my God, you guys, my worst nightmare. I think I dropped some plastic in there. Houseway, how? Oh Definitely plastic. Okay. Okay, I got it. Oh, I dropped it again. Oh, no. Oh, I got it. I got it. Pulse work. Mm. All right, guys. Let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. All right, guys. To a great, productive day to a good workout, to this being 20 of the 128 ounces that I have to drink today. That's right, I'm doing a whole gallon every day this week, but this counts, okay? <laughs> so let's start here. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so tart. <sighs> it is so tart and delicious. guys I am getting a particularly cheesy start to my day today you see I got my cello wisps I also got some moon cheese because this is buy one get one free at Costco right now if you weren't aware you guys I measured out one serving of moon cheese which is just 28 grams like it's not enough like how how does one person only eat one serving of moon cheese like I eat minimum three you know, every time I crack this open, but you know what? I'm being disciplined today and I measured out one serving, which is 28 grams. So I'm gonna have to savor these kernel by kernel, okay? <laughs> so I'll be having my cello wisps and my moon cheese to start the day. Also for accountability, I finished my zip fizz during my workout. Now I just have like a cup of water. Like I'm gonna be downing all of this water until a whole gallon is gone today. My mom just got an email today. She's been there 33 years. Like today was like, congratulations on your 33rd year of service. Yeah, that's great. <gasps> it is, it's pretty amazing. People just don't do that no more. You know what I'm talking about? People don't do it. Companies, Companies don't do it. Don't do it. You're right. <laughs> People want to do You're it. You're right. You know, we were that family, like when we went to Kings Island, mm -hmm. like, because you couldn't take food into the park so you know you go on king's island get your hand stamped have a good time and then you come out for lunch yeah. so there's like a cooler in the back yeah. and then you we used to have like bologna like sandwiches that. and stuff like that and chips that hey, we would eat in the trunk of, of my dad's car that. and then we would just go right back in i remember cynthia's 
said, Autumn, I put my keto snacks from Keto Palooza in a pretty glass jar next to the regular snacks, and my husband keeps eating them and telling me how much he doesn't like them. <laughs> well, then eat the regular snacks, okay? Stop wasting my keto snacks. That is so Somebody funny. that got put on blast. Yeah, I would definitely remove them from Straight the regular. Busted. I would hide them. That's just Straight me. Y'all know I'm a hoarder. I, I hoard things and eat them in secret. Much to my husband's I, chagrin. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> Who's back back again it is taco tray oh and this is the fully loaded taco tray my absolute favorite thing ever we have lettuce we have cheese sour cream we have ground beef we have so much cilantro you guys comment down below is there such a thing as a cilantro salad as in a salad made with cilantro like I know they make like arugula salads and things like that can you just eat a salad where the lettuce is cilantro because that's almost basically what this is. Like, I am here for it. Uh, and then we have some pork rinds and guacamole. If you can see today, I used these spicy sweet chili Quest chips. I just randomly found a bag of these in my house, and uh, I am excited to try them out. I really love this flavor. Mmm! Because it really is spicy and sweet. Like, it's really smoky. Kind of makes you cough. Like, <coughs> whoop! Hit you right here. Like, I am here for it. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get some lettuce and mainly cilantro. Mm. This is just my favorite thing ever. I could eat it all the time. Oh my gosh. I'm still thinking about that bite I just took. Sorry, you guys. I'm distracted. I'm still thinking about the bite I just took. Also, I got a little sidetracked, so I'm not as far along on my water as I would want to be, but like by the end of the day, this is all going to be gone. It has to be. So <sighs> lunch is served. Taco tray is done. My dreams have come true. Scratch that. They're about to come true again. Okay, first of all, I got cheese because <laughs> I'm going to be eating this forever or until it's gone. But then I am finishing off my day with perfect keto bars. That's right. Both of them. They're in my macros. This is the salted caramel. This is the chocolate chip cookie dough. These are my favorite flavors of perfect keto bar this is like their old formula old formula that is like crumbly and i really really like it i've tried the new ones the chocolate peanut butter and the pumpkin spice for some reason the pumpkin spice which is apparently their new formula is like really oily and chewy it kind of reminds me of like a heck of good bar which isn't really my favorite thing but the peanut butter chocolate is this old formula. It's a lot drier and crumblier, which I love. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then I've got to pretty much just drink water for the rest of the day. So I'll bring you along. Hey guys, uh, I am sitting here with my last cup of water. So I am almost done with my gallon, but I'm also sitting here with a uh, bowl of chocolate chips. So um, my eating window was technically supposed to finish with those perfect keto bars I was talking about, but it didn't. After that, I had some more perfect keto bars and then I had the rest of that moon cheese that we talked about earlier. And then it segued into one of those like might as well situations. And I'm just like, I've already messed everything up. I might as well eat these chocolate chips. Hmm. So needless to say, I'm a little bummed because today did not go the way I wanted it to. Like, I did not eat on plan. I'm still eating. That's not part of the plan. But I just wasn't feeling it. Like, my mind was hungry. I just felt dissatisfied and dejected and mad, like hangry, you know? Even though I had that awesome taco tray and I had those treats. It just, it wasn't enough. 
Does it ever get like that sometimes? It's like no matter what you eat, it's not enough? Comment down below. What are some things that you do to like distract yourself, talk yourself out of, like whatever you need to do to like get past a craving, I guess. I'm not doing very good at that right now. But like what are some tips and strategies that I could use in the future? Now the thing is, I'm proud of myself for just like not feeling guilty. When it comes down to it, that's what I'm proud of myself of. It's just because, yeah, I can eat all this stuff and I can feel guilty and beat up on myself and be like, gosh, Autumn, why do you overeat? Blah, blah, blah. But like that doesn't help anything, you know? I am objectively realizing like, hey, today wasn't your day, girlfriend. You know, like today wasn't the day where you wanted to eat on plan. And like, even though that's what you set out to do at the beginning of the day, it be like that sometimes. I'm also proud of myself because might as well day no longer means going off keto, you know? That might mean having some Lily's chocolate chips, but it does not mean going to get Snickers and ordering a pizza and just like going crazy. It's just like, oh, I'll have all my keto treats, but it's still keto though, you know? That's a huge step, first of all. This just goes to show we don't have it all together. <laughs> At least I don't, hello, but it's not the end of the world. This is what I want to talk about. It's not the end of the world. If you're having a day or two or three or maybe a week where you're just like, I'm not feeling very motivated. I'm not feeling very disciplined. I just got to, you know, work to stay keto. Maybe it's not stay on plan. Maybe it's not stay under a certain amount of calories. Maybe it's just stay keto. Maybe that's your goal. And we have to give ourselves grace when we just know we're not feeling it. There are times to hold yourself accountable and to kick yourself on the bottom and be like, hey, get it together. You're better than this. And then there are times to be like, eh, you weren't feeling it today. There's always tomorrow. But that doesn't mean you can't strive to be better and like try to reassess and figure out, hmm, what are some ways I could have set myself up for success? Or, you know, what are some habits I could have put in place, you know, to maybe help? And then just try it again next time. Because I'm never not going to feel this way again. It, there are going to be days where I'm like, I just want to eat everything in sight. I'll try those strategies next time, you know? But I just wanted to come on here and just say, hey, if you're not having a perfect day, neither am I, all right? It'd be like that sometimes. But I wanted to be honest because today's a full day of eating. I have not shown y'all what I've eaten today. <laughs> I've talked about it. I've eaten some chocolate chips. I've eaten a good amount of moon cheese and some perfect keto bars. But like, I've kind of gone off the rails a little bit and I'm looking forward to getting back on and just know that it's not the end and beating yourself up does nothing. So accept yourself where you are and know that you have the power to be better and it just starts with a decision and I'm going to make that decision tomorrow. Today's a bust. That's how I feel. Comment down below. Are you one of those like, well, today's a bust. Who cares now? Or are you one of those, no, stop it in the tracks. If it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon, I can still turn this day around. You know, like, which kind of person are you? I'd like to know in the comments down below. I'm just going to drink my water, shrug my shoulders. At least I hit one goal. See, that's what I'm saying. You might miss some other ones, but you hit some. Like, it's, it's a hit and miss, you guys. It's not all or nothing. So I'm just going to chill out the rest of the day. It is what it is. But I just wanted to be honest with you guys because, like, I don't have it all together. Gallon done. Everyone, this is my husband, Richard, if you didn't know. Richard, say hi. They don't know you. They don't know who you are. Anybody? Okay. Who's extra right now? Don't be talking about me. Richard, I told them about how I wasn't having a good eating day and how, like, there's always tomorrow. Yes. And, you know, it just, it'd be like that sometimes. No, and It's not 100% falling off a wagon, per se. Exactly. It's just, it's just you know, the day just, didn't go as planned. Yeah, exactly. And that's why we always have tomorrow to get back to our plan. It's, so that's what I'm going to do. I can't falling off a wagon is... You're just not doing anything anymore. Yeah, anymore. Exactly. <laughs> like I've quit. quit See, that's the thing. Yeah, you like, can't fail up. if you don't quit. Mm -hmm. I'm not quitting. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I didn't fail. Exactly. It's just, oh, we'll pick it back up tomorrow. Thank Today you wasn't the day, you know? I know, right? So, you know, but don't get me wrong. I'm glad the day's over. You know, and I... I'm already feeling motivated for tomorrow, mm -hmm. you know? So sometimes it's just like you gotta work it out of your system and you just gotta be like, today wasn't my day, but I know that tomorrow is going to be better. Exactly. And simply by saying that and knowing it, you make it happen mm -hmm. when you believe it, you know? So Dude. I believe it. If well, today wasn't good for you, you're right. If today wasn't good for you, just know that tomorrow's gonna be better and you have the power to make it that way. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited.
to work toward my goals, you know, and know that I have the power to accomplish anything I set my mind to. There so, we go. And exactly. Okay. That being said, taco tray was delicious. Like I did at least have that. So this is <laughs> a great reliable. week. I drunk my whole gallon of water. Yes, oh, look at flat out, oh empty gallon. You're so in this challenge. exactly. So I did reach some goals. So it's like you don't gotta reach them all. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe miss some, maybe the other ones. Like exactly. it's all cumulative. You know what like, I'm we, saying? We'll blame so the water for doing that. Exactly. The water made me want extra <laughs> exactly. snacks. Exactly. That's it exactly what happened. So everyone have a great night. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Well, bye. Oh. oh my god. I knew it's gonna do it. I didn't do anything. Well, because see, I had anticipated okay. it. Mm. I love you, baby. Love you. Exactly. Cabin. Is it a log cabin? I think so, wasn't it? You, you know, it's good to have your own space, you too. You can segue to the other yeah, house. <laughs> That's why we're going to Paris in March, because it's the off season. I was just like, I would not have nearly as fun of a time if there were that many humans here, you know? So I'm all about that. Hashtag off peak life. You know what I'm talking about? Definitely let him out because Diddy will just go pee pee anywhere. <laughs> no, you won't, Diddy. Yes, he will. Uh, Don't get to lying on Diddy. He is not getting better.